back to Life with Feet. As you know, I'm a speaker and I have been speaking now for, wow, 13 years. So makeup is somewhat important being a speaker so that I can make a connection with the audience. And I um, have had to figure out how to do my own makeup, but I'm still constantly learning and working on it because I'm not good. I am not good at all. In fact, I have had people do my makeup for many, many years and it's quite an investment that I finally decided now I need to start learning. I need to take it upon myself to either teach myself or learn from someone. And that is when I uh, actually met this, my new friend over here, Chelsea. And I was so glad that you offer to teach me and not only teach me, but because of your experience, which I want you to tell everyone about, it has actually gave me more confidence in knowing that you know how to teach me and you can handle my situation. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jessica. Um, it's been an honor meeting you. And um, so, um, so a little bit of background about myself. My name is Chelsea Nguyen, and um, I have been working with the Vocational Rehabilitation Program here in Houston, Texas uh, for about six, seven years now. And I started out working with the blind and visually impaired community, um, teaching women who are blind or visually impaired how to do their own makeup and their own hair for to gain self-confidence, become more independent, and also to be pre prepared for employment. Um, well, I'm just curious because you said you work with people who are blind. Mm -hmm. How do you teach someone who can't actually see how to get, you know, how to put the right amount on yeah. to make it look good. I mean, is there anything that you can say that, like, how do you do that? Yeah, so first off, I started out with blindfolding myself ah. to get to understand what that's like and what, what kind of cues did I need in order to understand how to do it. So um, with being blind or visually impaired, it's a lot about a uh, verbal, so mm -hmm. being very descriptive. Mm -hmm. So like if I, uh, and then understanding certain features of your face, like your jawline, mm -hmm. your cheekbones, your forehead and certain things like that. And then also, it's also about, um, uh, for instance, an example is um, putting foundation in the refrigerator so that it can, a liquid foundation can be cold and so when you're applying it and you're blind, you can actually feel the cold on your face. Wow. You know where it's been and where it hasn't been, right? Um, another thing is also about repetition mm -hmm. and um, doing things in patterns. So like what we're gonna get into in a minute, like you and I have been practicing online, mm -hmm. um, applying a certain amount of blush, the same amount on one side as you would load it on your brush on the other side. Mm -hmm. So it's all about patterns so you know that it's balanced. Right. Great. So well, I'm excited to try this. It's, it's about <laughs> time that I learned how to put my makeup on. So I'm, I'm very grateful for this. So thank you. Oh, well, you're welcome, started, Jessica. Then, yeah. You're a like learner. Learning how, how, how you do stuff. I'll throw it and then wow, it. that was a good, good throw. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't as good. A throw. You okay. get it. You get it. Just more practice. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about this uh, mascara, um, yeah. Chelsea, is that I've used all kinds of mascaras. Yeah. That's one thing that I've basically been doing for years. Right. And as I told you before, sometimes I feel like because of the way I'm bending my head or, or the angle which I have my head mm -hmm. so I can put the mascara on, mm -hmm. it's not as evenly distributed until you came up with a strategy when we were working online that I can do and I'm going to tell everyone about so you can make it more um, symmetrical on both sides. Mm -hmm. um, but I found this yeah. mascara that has a ribbed handle mm. and the ribbed handle actually makes it so much easier to grip between my toes. Yeah, you should show it to everybody because yes. when you showed it to me I was like, what? This is so cool. Like there's these ribbed sides to it and uh, I never thought about that as being able to give you more grip. Yeah. And I don't know why they do it's, that. It's either the part that you need the grip for is when you're actually twisting it off. Oh. Not so much when you're putting it on because right. as long as if it's between my toes, that's fine. But when you're twisting it yeah. to close it or to open it, having the ribbed parts are actually easier for my toes to grip. Right. Mm -hmm. So so why don't you show them what you used to do and what the challenge was yes. and then how we came up with a solution. Okay. So what I normally would do is it looks actually beautiful on the left eye because I just do the normal because you're right -footed. angle and I'm right footed. Right. But then I come over to the right eye and the angle is different. Yeah. So the lashes do not look as nice. Right. As the left eye. <laughs> right. So when I was 
watching you from our face uh, our FaceTime video was I was like, well, how about since you can't get all the angles of the eye eyelashes, turn the angle of your actual brush. Yes. And do two sides. So go like this. So essentially you rotate it, or not rotate it, but just turn it around like that. Yeah, for the opposite sides. Uh -huh. So on that side, you're gonna get the outer corner of the right eye and the inner corner of the left eye. And then when it's angled this to the, pointing this towards way. the left, then you're gonna get the outer corner of the right eye and the inner corner of the Got it. right eye. Okay, so right now I'm gonna regrip it so, so I get that. Yeah. So we'll get this side first. Yeah, outer corner of the left eye, and go up. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Another thing, another trick is you can also blink into it. Oh, yeah. So that you don't have to move it so much. There you go. Perfect. And then, and then the inner corners of your left eye. Because you've already got the brush angled in that direction, right? Mm -hmm. So Just be efficient exactly. and keep it that way instead of switching back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So now you switch the angle of mm -hmm. your mascara wand. Now you're getting the inner corners of your left eye. Perfect. I move my head too. And kind of like how you said blinking. Yeah, just blink into it. head into it. Wait, but hold on. Just go back to what you were just doing. Mm -hmm. Also get the center. So move your head slightly to the right. Yes, there you go. So then you're getting the center of your lashes. So remember, you're doing left, right, center, right? So you're getting Good. all angles. Now you've got a full, wow, look at the difference. Yeah, that the eye, left versus, eye, the eye versus, versus the right, I mean. There's I'm, a definite yeah. difference, yeah. I'm sorry, left eye, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Now let's go ahead and do the yes. other one. Yeah. There you go, the outer corner, perfect. That's good. And now you need to get the center. Center. By turning your head slightly. There yeah. you go. <gasps> wow. Great. That looks good. You did good. Thank you. And do you have you ever tried doing your bottom lashes? I tend to get very sensitive on my bottom lashes so, yeah. just because my eyes are sensitive. And they get watery. Yeah. Yeah. And some people don't need it, you know? So it all depends on personal preference. But I think that looks great. Thank you. Thank you very much. I okay. Now the Oh, before we go, I almost forgot our plug for Chelsea. Please, Chelsea, go right ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so um, I do do this, and I do a lot of trainings all over. Um, so if you're needing one-on-one -on -one online training, no matter where you live in the world, we can do that, just like I did with um, Jessica. And um, so you can contact me uh, by reaching out to me on my website. Um, go to cnvisionimage.com. Dot com. Uh, again, that's cnvisionimage.com. And um, I also have a Facebook. So go to my Facebook at uh, CN, uh, CNvision Image Consulting. Um, thank you very much. And I hope to hear from you. If any of you need any help, I'd love to help you gain more confidence and independence.